when visitors first sort of approach the building, it seems quite normal. But as they head inside, it sort of opens up into this giant cabinet of curiosities. Johnson was a Regency architect. He was a self-made man. He was born in 1753. The collections span centuries and ages. We have over 30,000 objects. I've been involved in the restoration of Sir John Soane's museum for 30 years and the whole process culminated in the last five months with the completion of a seven-year project called Opening Up the Soane in which we did almost the unthinkable. We put back complete interiors that had been lost from Soane's total work of art. The whole of this second floor is now open to the public we also opened the kitchens in the basement, which the public have never seen. This museum looks pretty much exactly as it did on the day of Soane's death in January 1837. He creates very interesting juxtapositions of space. It's very theatrical. This is, if you like, the pièce de résistance of Soane's museum. He's managed to squeeze over 110 paintings into a pretty small space. But I think the, the biggest draw for visitors, deep intake of breath as I do this. We invite children and families into the museum in, in lots of different ways, school groups, we have informal family learning activities and creative activities. I think it's a really fantastic museum for children. So many different nooks and crannies, mysterious places, stories that can be told out of it. And children find it really, really fascinating. It, it does inspire your imagination, this place, no matter how old you are. Not only have we um, now got the whole of the museum as Soane intended, we've also created two new exhibition spaces and a new foil space right in the heart of the museum. Our exhibition with Mark Quinn is, I think, a wonderful initiative in that we found an artist who came to us with the idea of engaging with the collection in a very intelligent way and producing works that were designed to fit in amongst Soane's own collections. Explore Soane is some really cutting edge technology. It's involved scanning the whole museum and then certain objects within it. So for example, the sarcophagus that I'm standing next to has been scanned and you can get up close to it. Designers, people from all over the world come here to see this building, to look at his drawings and to get inspiration from it.